Hello, this will be a short video on equivalent propositions. These are handy to know when using arguments. This might seem a little simple-minded, but, but it should be made explicit. The denial of a denial is equivalent to the assertion. This might be a little controversial, but let's not address this for now. This is often, often called the rule of double negation. I have mentioned this several times, but it's worth repeating. These two conditionals are equivalent. The first states that P is sufficient for Q. The second states that Q is necessary for P. The second conditional is often called the contrapositive of the first. All of these propositions express that P is subcontrary to Q. The disjunction is defined for this purpose. The second two conditionals are actually equivalent. You might note that the second is the contrapositive of the first. They express the idea that the error of the one makes the other true. Similar remarks apply for contrary disjunctions. The disjunction of denials expresses the idea that at least one is false. The other two conditionals express the idea that the truth of one makes the other false. Thus far, we have only encountered disjunctions where either both are asserted or both are denied. We have yet to see how a disjunction might be equivalent to some of the proposition where one of the disjuncts is false. Well, this might be hard to believe, but a disjunction where a negated disjunct with a negated disjunct is equivalent to a conditional, where the negated disjunct is instead an assertion and is the antecedent of the conditional. The other disjunct is the consequent. This is a little counterintuitive, but remember what sufficiency means. The truth of the first makes the other true. Look at the disjunction. If P is true, then by disjunctive syllogism, Q is true. So disjunction with a negated disjunct is equivalent to a conditional so stated. Recall that equivalent propositions are those propositions that are sufficient and necessary for one another. Thus, all of these propositions are equivalent. The first is simply the conjunction of the two conditionals expressing sufficiency. The second is the biconditional expressing equivalence. The following biconditional is also equivalent, it's just using negations for both of the component propositions. The following proposition is simply a conjunction of conditionals expressing a necessity for one another. Finally, the last is a conjunction of disjunctions using the equivalence discussed in the last slide. Recall the con that contradictory propositions are those propositions that are contrary and subcontrary to one another. Thus, all these propositions are equivalent. The first is the simple conjunction of the two kinds of disjunctions. The second is the biconditional where one of the component propositions is negated. Just for the sake of clarity, it does not matter which one is negated, so the following biconditional expresses the same relation. The following two conjunctions of conditionals express, simply express the biconditionals as conjoined conditionals. Here are the terms for this video. Be able to provide equivalent propositions off the top of your head. This will help you master philosophy and reason in general. The next video involves den denials of propositions. This will be important when you start providing objections to arguments.